Ryan has stumbled across a new growth method for YouTubers that was hiding in plain sight. All the episodes in the Penny series are built around a three-part formula. A video formula that has turned this guy into America's fastest growing YouTuber. And it starts with part one, giving the algorithm what it wants. Now, the title of this part might confuse you, because daily vlogs aren't supposed to work. They were huge five years ago, but in recent times YouTube has been dominated by high effort content uploaded a few times per month, with big stakes and even bigger budgets. The reason? Vlogs are typically not as good at holding audience retention. The art of keeping people watching from the first to the last second. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another edition of the Unstoppable Dadamas channel. I'm here bringing you guys a Ryan Trahan video, but it's not really Ryan Trahan. Well, this guy is talking about Ryan Trahan. <clears throat> um, on how Ryan Trahan's One Penny series broke YouTube forever pretty much it has broke youtube for good i think we'll see what he has to say let's get in this reaction shall we you know what i have this idea i can't stop thinking about it i keep telling myself it's crazy i shouldn't do it no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it! The crazy idea Ryan Trahan is talking about here has just changed the formula for growing on YouTube. His new daily series, where he crosses America with one penny, has gained his channel 2 million subscribers in the last month. I closely studied each episode and started to realize something. Ryan has stumbled across a new growth method for YouTubers that was hiding in plain sight. All the episodes in the Penny series are built around a three-part formula. A video formula that has turned this guy into America's fastest growing YouTuber. And it starts with part one, giving the algorithm what it wants. Now, the title of this part might confuse you, because daily vlogs aren't supposed to work. They were huge five years ago, but in recent times YouTube has been dominated by high effort content uploaded a few times per month, with big stakes and even bigger budgets. The reason? Vlogs are typically not as good at holding audience retention. The art of keeping people watching from the first to the last second. Hmm. If you give the algorithm a choice between two videos, it will pick the one with higher retention to go viral. But the Penny series has changed everything. Ryan uses a few really smart tactics to make these episodes addictive to watch. First of all, let's watch the intro to episode one. There's something he does really well here. This is a penny, and I'm gonna use it across America in the next 30 days. Here's the rule. Rule number one, all profit must come from the penny. Hey y'all, can anyone sell me a pen for this penny? You started a revolution. Rule number two, all grub, boarding, and transportation must come from the profit from the penny. Hey, you guys wanna buy this pen for a dollar? Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Notice how Ryan gives context on how the challenge works and then jumps into action, and then repeats this cycle again. I call this tactic drip feeding context. And I see a lot of YouTubers actually doing Ryan me Ryan's method a lot. So who knows, maybe I might do that for my vlogging channel. Who knows? Ryan does this in every episode to make sure he never has boring lumps of explanation. He also uses retention sentences throughout these videos. So I'm telling you now, we basically have everything we need to finish this challenge. Almost. I will explain at McDonald's, and then I'm going to tell you guys the game plan, which is accompanied by some really, 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 really big news. And so I'm kind of vibing, like I'm kind of in a good mood, I'm kind of just excited to eat this meal, enjoy it. As long as someone doesn't freaking reset us in real life on the way to Walgreens, we'll be fine. Why am I not going to be surprised if that happens? <laughs> Foreshadowing like this is one of the oldest retention techniques in the book. Ryan is constantly teasing you with what's coming next, giving you a reason to keep watching. That's what I actually do in my vlogging channels, and what I do in the beginning for you guys. Even take this episode for example. Ryan constantly hints at the next city without revealing what it is. Getting ready to go to the airport to go to the next city. We have to shift our focus to the next city. To the next city. In the next city. Doing some research on this next city. I'm, I'm going to... It's a secret. You really think I would tell you? It's literally a secret. It's a surprise. It's literally more fun if you don't know what it is. And then I do that shot where I'm like... It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> this not only helps view duration, but also the return rate so that more people tune in the next day. When he ends an episode with a sentence like this, I have kind of big news to tell you in the morning, so I'll see you then. You just can't wait for the next video. 
While these things are important, lots of other smart YouTubers already do this. The next tactics make all the difference. Firstly, Ryan is putting on a masterclass in how to build familiarity with an audience. He has uploaded this series at 10am EST each day, so people can make it part of their daily morning routine. That's what I usually used to do. Post my videos at 11am every morning when I posted like my web series or um, my vlogging series. I would always post it at 11am. I still post my vlogs at 11 a.m. on my vlogging channel. So, hey, always at 11 a.m. I, I don't know why, but it seemed to me to me that it was the perfect time to upload them at that time. He also uses the same music throughout the series. This track here is basically the theme tune to his own sitcom. And his outro song has been searched 147,000 times this month. But by far the most important thing is not about the edits or what Ryan cuts out. It's about what Ryan leaves in. His videos are deliberately imperfect. Sometimes this is just as silly as his <laughs> camera falling. Other times it's sharing an emotional moment with the world. I like, I've been asking everyone this. If you had the chance to just say one thing to the world, what would it be? Man. If you guys, anybody going through hard times right now, like, just straight up be positive and keep moving forward and keep your head up. You know, that's all we could do, you know, help those who are willing to help themselves. And let's feed America. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. The Penny series videos are basically a pendulum, swinging between retention optimized moments and deeper connections to his personality. A lot of YouTubers are neglecting this side of the equation something Ryan has capitalized on. However, these tactics might have helped him solve the retention issue with vlogs, but there's another major hurdle the Penny series needed to overcome, which brings us on to part two, the episodic problem. Content with multiple episodes has always struggled to bring in new viewers. If you don't watch the first episode, typically you are unlikely to watch any others. Series also often rely too heavily on the audience already knowing the creator. But Ryan solves this in three smart ways. Number one, each of his episodes has an intro that quickly gets you up to speed with what's happening and hooks you into the story. Ryan typically follows a four part intro structure. Greeting, one line explainer, update and first objective. Follow along yourself. Good morning, sleepyheads. This morning I woke up and forgot I was trying to cross America starting from one penny. It is day six. We have $6.32. We are in Las Vegas, like 10% of the way across the country. Mr. Beast, don't you worry even one bit, sweetheart. I'm going to deliver you this penny no matter what. But first, morning routine. A new viewer has all the context they need to enjoy the video right away. The second thing is Ryan has made standalone thumbnails. What I mean by this is, each thumbnail looks like it's for an individual challenge video, not necessarily a series. The secret is, Ryan planned and shot all of these images in advance, and it shows. The concept itself is 90% of why these thumbnails are great. Ryan and his team put together the most interesting action shots to visually show the challenges he was planning to undertake. There's a heavy focus on blue and green colour combinations. These colours are often correlated with higher click-through rate. Just like in the episodes, Ryan also uses his thumbnails to foreshadow the events taking place. The result are images that when you see them are interesting even if you missed previous episodes. And perhaps the most important is number three. The series itself is a high-stake challenge. In a way, Ryan has fused the daily vlog with the current optimised meta. And just in case you were wondering for comparison, Ryan has done more than double the views per month than Casey Neistat did in Ooh. his prime. High stakes daily vlogs could be the new algorithm beater. So now we have two parts of the formula, retention and optimizing for new viewers. But part three is where Ryan's best idea comes into play, audience hacking. You see, as the MrBeast Squid Game video has shown, the best YouTubers not only know how to make great videos, they know how to engineer hype. How does Ryan do this? The Great Reset. I was waiting all video to say that. 
But Ray, <laughs> the concept of being reset by a donation is genius. Not only does it give the series a really interesting twist, it also grabs the attention of the entire platform. Dozens of massive YouTubers have made tweets, shorts, and even full-length videos about their donations. This unlocks new fan bases for Ryan's series. Not only is the algorithm pushing new viewers to his videos, but other creators are too. And the reason it all works, the whole series was for a great cause. Ryan has changed YouTube and raised over $1 million for people in need. And I'm feeling brave, so for every subscriber this video gets, I'll donate not one, but five pennies to Ryan's fundraiser. Go ahead, bankrupt me. <laughs> Don't bankrupt me because I don't have that money, that much money. Literally, I don't. But, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, so that we guys do not miss an upload here on this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction. And you guys gotta stay tuned for this one because this next reaction you guys are going to love. Well, actually, these two next reactions you're going to love. So stay tuned. Please subscribe if you want to see what they are next. I'm unstoppable. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And I'm out. Hey, everybody. It's your boy, Skiz, here. And if you don't subscribe to, to Buon and the Unstoppable Denominator, then you are a toothy, bumfuck, pussy-ass bitch motherfucker.